Today, we're going to be talking about Trello. We're gonna talk about what it is and how it works and how to use Trello and this template to process properties within your pipeline. What is Trello? Trello is a web-based Kanban style collaboration tool. In Japanese, the word kan means sign and ban means board. So the word literally translates out to signboard. Kanban is a lean and agile system flow for organizations to use so that they can visualize their workflow. This is achieved by the use of sticky notes on a whiteboard. These sticky notes are used to categorize your work or task. Projects are separated into three different columns, to do, doing, and done. This work style has three core principles, visualizing your workflow, eliminating work in progress, and managing workflow. By doing these things, you reduce multitasking, and you also encourage the completion of one task before beginning another. This process also helps to reduce project delays and helps projects beat timelines and deliver results more often. The goal of a Kanban workflow is to achieve a smooth flow of work from start to completion of each project, all while eliminating unnecessary slowdown or stoppage points. Sign up. To sign up for Trello, simply enter your email address. You'll be taken to another screen where you'll need to enter your name. You'll then be granted access into your new Trello account. Now that you've signed up for your Trello account, you'll be taken to your workspace. From here, you can access other features or get started with your first board. Workspaces. From your workspace, you can go directly to your board or create a new board. When you create a new board, you'll be taken to that board so that you can begin your workflow. From your workspace, you can change the workspace name Invite other members to your workspace, go directly to one of your boards, or adjust the settings for the workspace. You can also sort your board by most recently active, least recently active, alphabetically ascending, or alphabetically descending. You can search boards by using the search box, or you can add a star to an existing board so that it is now added to your starred list. Boards. The board is the entire area that you see under the menu options. A board is also where you keep track of information. Lists. The lists are the gray rectangular outer cards. You can only have one list per column, but you can arrange them however you'd like. You also have the ability to rename lists, so be sure to name your list for each step of progress. You can also add a new list to the board by going to the rightmost column, which is empty, and clicking plus add another list. Cards. Cards are the smallest, most detailed unit on the board. They represent tasks, like something that needs to be done, or an idea, like something that needs to be remembered. There are no limit to the number of cards for one list and cards can be arranged under any list in any order. Cards can be added individually directly from Trello by clicking on plus add a card on any list. You can also add a card from a template card by clicking on the template card in the bottom right hand corner of each list. Cards should be named for each stage of progress. You can also add cards to a board via email. We'll cover more on that later. You can drag and drop cards across your board to a list that represents the current stage of progress. You can customize a card by clicking on it to turn it over. On the back of each card, you'll see a whole new set of options. Back of the card. From the back of each card, you have many options that apply to this individual card. Options on this card include add to card options, power-ups, automations, and actions. Under add to card, you have the ability to add additional members to the card. You can do this by adding their username or email address. You can also add a label to the card. You can do this by clicking on labels 
in using an existing label or you can edit a label's color and text to create a new label. You can add a checklist. Once you give a checklist a name, it can be added to other cards and boards. You can click on dates to add a due date as well as a start date. You can set a due date reminder for between two days before the due date up to the time of the due date. You can add an attachment from your computer, Trello, Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, or OneDrive. You can also attach a link to the card. You can change the cover image of the card by clicking cover. From there, you can choose an attached image or attach a new image. You can also change the color, the image layout, and the text overlay style. You can add power-ups, which are additions to cards and boards that provide increased functionality on your card. You also have the ability to use automations. Automations are no code required buttons that can be set up in seconds. It allows you to perform an action on a card or across your entire board in a single click. This allows you to automate repeat actions. You'll also be given automation tips from the automation screen that will provide suggestions based on the repeat actions that it processes on your board. Under automations, you'll also see the ability to perform actions such as moving a card to another list, or making a copy. You can turn a card into a template for future or repeat use with the make template action, or you can archive a card which will remove it from your board. Once you click archive, you also have the option to delete a card. Lastly, you have the option to share the card. You can print the card or save it as a PDF under print. You can export the card as a JSON file, or you can send someone a link to the card. When you send someone a link for the card, be sure that the board is public or that they are added as a board member on the current board. Without making the board public or having them as a board member, they will not be able to access or view the card through the link. You can show and download a QR code as well as embed the card using the code provided. You can email the card by entering an email address you can also delete the card by pressing delete in the bottom right hand corner of the share option, your board. On your board, you have many options. You can change the name of your board or you can star the board for easier access to your board from your workspace. You can also set your workplace visibility. You can set your workspace visibility to private, which means only board members can see and edit the board. You can set your board to be visible to each member of your entire workspace. This will give each workspace member the ability to see and edit all boards within the workspace. You can also set your board to public, which means anyone on the internet can view your board, but only board members can edit the board. You have the option to upgrade your board view by accessing the Trello membership. You can also add power-ups, automations, or search your board by filters. You can also share your board or click on the three dots to the right of share to access your board's menu. Board menu. From the board menu, you can click about this board. Under about this board, you will find the board admin information, the board description, and member permissions. From the menu, you can also change the background for your board. You can choose a photo from Unsplash, a free stock photo site. You can choose a color or upload a photo from your computer. You can also add stickers to cards. These stickers are removable. You can add stickers by selecting a sticker or you can create your own stickers from images. You'll find the automation and power-up options here as well. This gives you an extra point of access to these features. And at the bottom of the main menu screen, you will see all of the activities that have been carried out on this board. They update in real time. You can click the three dots under stickers for more menu options. From here, you can view the settings where you have options to change your workspace, enable or disable cover cards, 
and change comment as well as add and remove permissions for board members. Also under More, you can make changes to labels as well as view archived items. Under Archived Items, you can delete or restore any previously archived items here. Under the More menu, you also have the ability to view the Email to Board settings. You can also watch your board, which means that you will be notified of all changes that occur on the board. You also have options to copy the board, print the board, or export the board. You can close the board permanently or share the link so that others can view or access the board. Setting up your board. Once you have access to the template board, you'll need to go to the three dots to the right of share. This gives you the menu. Once you're under the menu, you may need to click the left arrow next to About This Board if it takes you to the About This Board section. From the menu, select More under About This Board. Then click Copy Board, give the board a name, and choose the workspace you'd like to add the board to. Make sure you check Keep Template Cards. Click Create and you will arrive at your new board on the designated workspace. Once you click Create, you'll be taken to the new board on your workspace. The first thing that we need to do to get your board to work properly with the pipeline system is to start with the Start Here Creating Rules card under Templates and Resources. Follow the instructions to create a rule that adds any newly added or created card to the lead found list. If you would like, you can also create a rule to add a due date to each added card. Once you have created your rules, you'll need to set your automation buttons to match your board. You'll find the instructions on a card by the same name on the templates and resources list. During this step, you'll need to access the previously created buttons under automation. You'll then make a copy of each automation card. This is because Trello will not allow you to make an edit for a button that was not created on your board or within your workspace. Remove copy from the button title and change the board that the card moves to when you press the button. It's currently set to Single Family Pipeline Template, so you'll need to select your board by clicking the board name. Then press Save and you should see a celebration. This indicates that the request was saved and that the button should work. Uncheck the Enabled on this board box under the rule box associated with the previous board command. Be sure to check the enabled on this board box associated with the actions for your board. Once all the buttons are changed to match your board, you're ready to use the pipeline. Adding cards via email. Under the board menu, press the three dots under stickers to access more menu options. Go to email to board settings. There you will see the email address for this Trello board. Like cards, each board has a unique email address. If you believe that your email address has been compromised, you can click Generate New Email Address. Once you generate a new email address, the previous email address will not work. So if you do this, be sure to change the email address in your contacts. Do not give out this email address as anyone who has it can add cards to your board as you. When emailing a new card, only one card can be added per email. The card title will be the subject of the email and the card description will be the email body. Attachments to the email will be added to the card. Because each card has its own email address, which is linked on the back of the card, any email sent to the card email address will be sent as a comment to the card. Auto load your cards. As a part of the pipeline template, you have a button on the back of each card that will allow you to auto load each new property card with the checklist and information needed to take each property from first call to closing. 
All you have to do is create a card. You can do this from the add a card option on each list, or you can email a property address and information to the board email to create a new card from an email. You can also copy and paste a list of addresses and choose the option when you paste to create a card from each line of text. After you've created the card, simply click on the card to turn it over and under automation, click the auto load card button and the card description, checklist and comments will auto populate. And that's it. Now on the back of each card, you should see the description, comments and checklist that'll help you take this property from the first call to closing on the property. As you complete a task, press the automation button that matches the task and the card will be moved to the next progress step. Trello has many great features, so I encourage you to make edits at will and find ways to make the board work for you. If you have any questions, comment down below or email me at futgenhomes at gmail.com. Now get out there and take some action.